hello guys and welcome back to the channel this is gonna be a quick one in this video i'm gonna show you how to sync two nestable sliders and uh, in this video i'm gonna assume that you already know how to set up your sliders so i have my main slider here so i have a single slider with just uh, one item per view and then i have another slider which is my thumbnail slider which is uh which has about three items per view and you can really set this up anyhow you want but the most important thing here is to know how to sync them in a way that will allow you to use one of the slider as a navigation let's take a look at it now what you want to do is to ensure that you put a code block or you could use an external code manager and then I'm just going to open that uh, for you to see how this code works. I'm going to link this code in the description for you to just copy and paste. And by the way, if you really want to know how to set up the sliders, I have a more in-depth video on this subject. But this is just a quick demonstration of, on how to set up two sliders and sync them with each other to have this thumbnail carousel. So you're going to copy this code and paste in your code block or any code manager that you have. And the only thing you need to do is to replace the ID of the main slider and the ID of the thumbnail slider. So how do you get the ID? So if you click on the main slider and come here, you're going to see this characters just after the BRXE dash. That is the ID you want to take. But unfortunately, you really can't copy it and sometimes you may have changed your id and it really doesn't matter if you change your id you still need to use this original id so let me show you now i'm going to change this id to main so i've changed that to main slider so i'm just going to change this id also to thumbnail and then um but we're not going to use those ids here so like I said, even if you change the IDs, you have to use that original ID. So to ensure that you get that original ID, you just copy this and go to the front. And by the way, let me save this. So now uh, I'm going to click F12 to open. You make sure you're on the console and paste that uh, bricks data dot splite instances and then expand it, expand these two items. And the first one, you just hover on it and you're going to see that uh, it highlights this. And that means this is the ID you want. So I'm just going to double click on that and copy. And then when you come here, you paste that on the main. I've already done mine. And then you go back and then once you point here, okay, you can see that it highlights this, you know, that is the, you just double click and copy and then come back here and paste it. And uh, one more thing you have to do after that is to go to the thumbnail slider and make sure you change from default to custom. I'm going to give you this JSON uh, to paste for the custom values. And this introduces some new options to enable this work properly. I also have an example of a breakpoint, so you can actually duplicate that so I can copy these breakpoints. If you want to add another breakpoint, you have to put a comma and, and then paste that next breakpoint. I can change this to say uh, 320 and say let that be one slide per view. Just make sure that you adhere to the commas because this last one must, this one must have a comma before the next one. Check out the in-depth video I did. I'm going to link it at the top right corner and at the cards at the end of this video. Let's save that. And then we go to the front end and take a look at it. And you can see that this works. And if I move this, the breakpoint is, this is going to show two. And then if I move all the way, it's going to show one, you know, one, one slider. Um, I'm not sure if you want to do that, but tool just looks perfect. So that's all on how to sync two sliders. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss some other video like this. Have a great day. Bye.